When I was in like the fourth or the fifth grade, I remember learning very clearly about a haiku. It's a poem out of the Japanese culture that goes in the five, seven, five syllable structure. The reason I mentioned this is because I tweeted out earlier that today I was going to be giving a gift away to somebody on Twitter, by the way, maybe you should go follow me, that gave me a good haiku. Basically, nobody was able to do it right the first time. I'll give credit to a couple people, but I was utterly shocked. A haiku is so simple. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and roll this wheel, and uh, yeah, let's see who wins. And here we go! Guggen, man. We got Guggen. Looks like it's Guggen. Hey, make sure you hit me up on Twitter, Guggen. Let me know what you want, man. I also held a no building custom for a gift in my Discord last night. You should totally join if you haven't joined already. Check out this clip. Oh, here we go. Potato's trying to sweat. Oh my god! Oh, oh my god! I want a gift! I want a gift! Let's go! Look around. Stay low. Make sure they don't see you. Alright guys, so today I want to talk about the origin of the imagined. Yesterday I made a video on the origin of the origin, a lot of you guys had opinions. I really appreciated reading those and responding to almost everyone, so if you have any more, make sure to let me know. Pretty much I just thought I would follow that video up with the other member of the seven that had just been revealed to us. We're only about 48 hours into the season, so there are still some gray areas and we're trying to piece it all together. But here is the origin of the imagined. The first ever mention or reference to this character, the imagined, actually came at the same time another character was mentioned. This was back in the chapter two, season six cutscene where Agent Jones is trying to escape from the IO and rejoin the Seven to help their cause. Eventually, at the end of the cutscene, the Foundation arrives and there is a confrontation in which the Foundation is very angry at Jones, and rightfully so, right? Eventually, Jones is about to get absolutely pummeled and he offers to help the Foundation in a last ditch effort to not get killed to help him find Gino and the sisters. I can get you to Geno. And the sisters. I can get you all of them. One of those sisters has not yet arrived into the game. Really, the only thing we know about her is she's supposed to have black hair. The other sister, though, we know who that is. Her name is The Imagined. She's in the game. She has the uniquely colored suit, unlike any of the rest of the seven, at least that we know of so far. So who is she? Well, there's not really a ton right now about it, but if you look at her description, it says her past is the key to our future. Very interesting. And I've seen a lot of theories out there regarding this skin, right? And trying to speculate into the future about the other sister. This sister's name that we know is The Imagined. What if the other sister's name was The Order? And so then when you pair them together, you get The Imagined? And the order? The imagined order? Oh man, now we're entering some interesting territory. This is big brain time. Who's to say what the actual other name of this sister is, right? Like it could be the order. I, I personally think that makes a lot of sense. Could be any number of other things we'll have to find out. But if it is the order, that would be super cool. And that would pretty much make sense that these two sisters were working for the IO maybe. Um, there's definitely some attachment to the IO with these group of female characters, the paradigm included. And it's really interesting to see all the different storylines going on with the seven, right? It's not like they're just always this one united force that is out to get the bad guy and out to stop the loop and escape the loop. No, that, apparently they're like divided and like at different points chronologically, they have certain viewpoints that they differ in and so, they break off from the group and they go try to do their own thing and then they come back or maybe they don't. It's kind of a headache to keep up with, but it's really interesting nonetheless. I'm gonna go to Wendy's. Do you guys want anything? <laughs> if you go back and listen to the chapter two season six cutscene, when the foundation asks if Jones can help him actually get to the sisters, he doesn't hesitate. He says, yes, I can. And the foundation trusts him, right? So. Obviously, coming from the I.O., if they were working for or were affiliated with 
the IL, it would make complete sense for Jones to actually be truthful on his promise there. He's already fulfilled the promise on one of the two sisters, right? So, yeah, that's pretty interesting to think on. Yo, we gotta stop for a second. This is a meme checkpoint, okay? <laughs> You have to type my dog jumped over my left-footed cat in the comments right now. Let's confuse some people. God, I love chaos. If you have any theories of your own or topics I should look into, please let me know. I've really loved covering the storyline. I've been changing the video style ever so slightly, trying to adapt. Let me know what you guys think about it. I mean, I think it would be pretty clear, but thank you. I really appreciate you watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.